Hey, Rick from Gas and Alley Toys, continuing on with our uh, parts and decals installation videos. Today we're going to be showing you how to do uh, Tonka dumbbells. Um, the, dump, the dumbbell lights, not the kinds that are walking the streets nowadays. Um, so there's, each type of these has a different type of dumbbell bar. They all take the same dumbbells. Um, I'm going to show you installations for each different style. Um, starting with State Highway Truck, here we'll go. Um, this, is a, this is a wraparound bar here. So I had the tabs bent. Um, a lot of times these are missing, broke, bent up. Um, if you try to go put a dumbbell in, when you open it up to try to get a dumbbell in, it might break. Um, so you need a new one. So we have the new ones like this. They might come to you in one piece or they might already be bent. Uh, easiest installation for these, take it, lay the dumbbell in and fold up. Same thing on this side, take the dumbbell, lay it in, fold it up. Okay, it goes down through the holes it came out of. Straight down, drop it in. There's a there's a hole here and a hole in the bottom of the box that it goes down through. Okay, all the way through the bottom of the box. Get your fingers, get a kind of alignment there. Okay, all the way down through. Snap it in. Once it's in, it's actually the tabs are sticking down through the bottom of the box on both sides. Okay, there and there. Basically, just take a screwdriver, bend that tab over. Locked into place. Okay, that's the installation for this one. Okay, the earlier Tonka Wreckers that have the boom braces and all this set up here, um, we do have the complete bars, uprights, cross member, and boom braces. Today I'm just going to replace the the dumbbell bar for right now. Um, so it's all bent. You can see, kind of looks like crap. Um, so this just has tabs on the top that you need to straighten up. Again, be very careful of tabs can break on you. Okay. Screwdriver under those, lift the tab up, okay, that'll pop off. New bar, it's easier to put the dumbbells on before you put the bar on, okay, lay the dumbbell in there, grab your pliers, put it like this, hook it around, drag that dumbbell over, Oops. let's lay it into place, okay, hold your thumb there. Tighten that bar over. Dumbbell in. Okay, same thing with this one. Lay it down into place. Players here. Bend up and around. Finish the bend. With the players. Okay, ready to go. Okay, the tabs here are offset. As you can see on the, the width. So it goes on just like that. Put it over the new tabs. Bend the tabs down. New bar installed. Okay, twist it a little bit to get it straightened up. That one's good to go. Okay. Lastly, the pickup truck style um, comes with this style of bar. Okay. It just drops down in there. So again, we're going to put the dumbbells on first. So lay that dumbbell in there. Pliers. Pull up and around. Finish tightening. Lay that in, up and around, finish tightening, dumbbells in. This one's interchangeable, works either way, okay? Big slots, little slots, goes down through these holes, okay? Push down in, okay? All the way in. Now on this one, those tabs as they're sticking through, you basically just have to get that one bent so it stays in there. So you can grab the pliers. Pull that out like that, bar's in. Okay, good to go. So dumbbell bar on this style, this style, and this style, all done. Um, if you have a lot of time, this one stays plated. These do get painted black. Um, one trip trick I can tell you um, on your pliers, wrap your pliers in either black electrical tape or just even blue masking tape for each time. That helps if you're biting into the paint, scratching the paint on you. On you. Uh, black electrical tape works good. Still gets you a good finish, um, won't scratch the paint. Um, test fit all these parts when you're putting them in, in case you need a little bit of fitting here and there um, on all these, again, um, so you don't scratch the paint trying to get them in. Um, so once again, all those three, um, all these parts available on toydecals.com, uh, gasandalleytoys.com. You can find us on Facebook, Gas and Alley Toys and Antiques. Um, you can call the shop, 608-519-2151. 
And as some people have asked me, yes, the toys I'm actually working on in the videos are for sale too. If you see anything you're interested in, just give us a call. We can hook you up. Thanks and have a good day.